Hi everyone, how's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I'm currently facing some issues with my regular narrator and have had to use a substitute. I appreciate your understanding and patience during this time. Anyway, it's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In the 17th century, Kazimir Semyonovich, a brilliant inventor and scientist, was one of the pioneers in the field of rocketry. He was known for his groundbreaking work on multi-stage rockets that could travel longer distances and carry heavier payloads. Fairy tales? No, it's a fact. One of Semyonovich's most significant contributions was his development of winged rockets. These rockets were designed to have a stabilizing rod and fins, which allowed them to fly in a straight line and be more accurate in their targeting. This innovation made rockets more effective as weapons in warfare and changed the course of history. Semyonovich also developed the theory of creating a prototype of a multi-stage rocket. This was a revolutionary idea that allowed rockets to travel longer distances and carry heavier payloads. Semyonovich's multi-stage rocket design was later refined and developed by other scientists, leading to the creation of the rockets that we know today. However, Semyonovich's work was not limited to rocketry alone. In the 18th century, there were legends of fights with fire-breathing dragons, and it turns out that such weapons existed. Semyonovich was fascinated by these legends and set out to create a weapon that could defeat these creatures. Semyonovich's dragon-fighting weapon was a rocket that contained a highly combustible substance. When ignited, the rocket would create a large flame, which was powerful enough to defeat a dragon. While this weapon may seem like something out of a fairy tale, it was a real invention that showed the creativity and ingenuity of Semyonovich. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Christ was executed 900 years ago. Romans in Russian clothing. When analyzing historical paintings, we will discover many extreme inconsistencies. If history was not falsified recently, how do these people who lived closer to the past than we do today not have a greater understanding of it? Full plate armor was a recent invention to the painters who lived in this time. Why are they depicting it in an event 1500 years ago? That clothing style looks awfully European. Where's the arid landscape of Jerusalem? What I find most amusing are these depictions of a bearded Pontius Pilate dressed in medieval Russian clothing, particularly the Mermolka fur hat, as well as the background people. I don't know about you, but if I were in the Middle East, I would not be wearing thick furs and steppe clothing. Perhaps these artists were not told the same version of history that we are today. During their lives, it was probably taught that he was executed a mere 200, 400 years ago rather than 1500, and not in Jerusalem. What do you think? The invention of electrical lighting in the late 19th century was a monumental achievement that transformed the way we live and work. However, it is commonly believed that this technology was not widely available in homes until much later with some sources suggesting that it was not until 1925 that electrical lighting became commonplace. Yet recent evidence suggests that this assumption may be flawed. In fact, there is now compelling evidence that electrical fixtures were already present in many homes and public spaces in Moscow in the late 19th century, at a time when electrical lighting was still considered a novel and experimental technology. One of the most striking examples of this can be seen in photographs of Moscow from this period. 
which show a cityscape illuminated by a bright, almost glaring light that is far beyond what could be produced by traditional candle or gaslighting. These images reveal a level of electrical illumination that is truly remarkable for the time and suggest that the technology was far more widespread than previously believed. What do you think? So if you still don't believe that the system is rigged against you, and that certain rules don't apply to certain people, let me break it down for you in the simplest way possible. The world runs on money. It's the fundamental reason why everyone wakes up every day and goes about their business. But here's the catch. 99% of people have no clue what money really is. The media tells you to make money with crypto, make money with dropshipping, make money with stocks. But in reality, it's the Federal Reserve and the banks that make money. If you or I were to try to make money, we'd end up in jail. The only thing we can do is take money from other people. It's a game, and the banks hold the cheat code. Their focus isn't on securing your money or making your life easier. All they do is lend out money that doesn't even exist and earn interest on it. When you add to that the fact that the Federal Reserve can print an infinite amount of money, our entire economy becomes a complete joke. It's the biggest scam ever, and yet they're still chasing after the one thing that has no real value. What do you think? What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.